Good morning. I'm Mrs. Gross, and today we're going to uh, demonstrate how to hang a primary infusion and a secondary infusion infusion through the Hespera Plum Pump from Little Company of Mary Hospital. So I wanted to show you the equipment first of all, and then we'll look at the pump, and we'll proceed from there. The physician has ordered normal saline, 50 milliliters per hour IV by continuous infusion. Here is our 500 milliliters of normal saline bag ready to hang and the primary infusion tubing. We also have included here the label that goes on the tubing indicating the day in which the tubing was hung. Okay, we're ready to hang our 500 milliliter infusion. We hang the bag and the tubing has a very handy perforation that we take off. It has little tabs like that that are taken off. Of course, your uh, drip chamber is here, and this tip is sterile. This is the cassette that we will insert into the pump. It has a um, clamp to uh, utilize if needed to clamp off the infusion. The cassette has a number of features on it. This is the uh, little dial that you pull out to allow the fluid to flow through. So that's different than the roller clamp that you might be used to. It also has a port here where we're going to be inserting our piggyback infusion. The fluid flows through the cassette and then goes down the tubing. And then we have an injection port here that other things can be added to it. And then our tip again is sterile to insert into the patient's IV. So we take off the cap, keeping it sterile. And you want to use a little pressure, insert and twist as you're putting in, put it all the way up. And okay, here is the cassette, and um, there's a little um, place to hold it on the back side, and so it, it is placed in the pump um, holding that. But when we, when we prime the tubing, we turn it upside down first. And as the fluid flows through, it will fill the chambers. Uh, and as, it, as the fluid gets to this, into this large bubble, then we invert it. And that helps the fluid, uh, the air, actually to be forced out. Okay, the first thing to do is fill the drip chamber. And you do that by squeezing it and filling it to at least that line on the drip chamber. Okay, I'm releasing the, um, pulling the little white ball lever out and seeing the fluid fill into the ball, then I invert. And all the air is then forced out through the tubing. Right now we're going to be hanging our ampicillin one gram piggyback. We put it in 500 milliliters because that's the bag that's available. You can see our order is here. Ampicillin one gram IV every 12 hours. Okay. We're going to uh, hang the piggyback currently right now. We have ampicillin one gram IV. The order is ampicillin one gram IV, Q12 hours. It will come from pharmacy labeled, so we've indicated that it will be labeled. I've already attached the tubing in the same manner as the other tubing. The tubing comes in this packaging. It's a little simpler to prime actually than the primary tubing. It's shorter. It's already attached. We've done it just now and I'm going to hang it up. Okay, this is an adapter called a clave. And I'm going to open it and show it to you. You treat it in a sterile manner. This is the tip that will go on the adapter in the IV of the cassette. And that is the uh, tip that the IV tubing will twist into. Okay, we're ready to hang our piggyback. So we're going to go ahead and press the um, stop button and clamp the clamp here and then remove the cassette from the machine. This white cap comes off. And 
this cap comes off the clave and is inserted in and screwed in. And then the unit is placed into the machine. The roller clamp, the unclamped, and the door closed. It asks us if it's a new patient, we say no. We're going to go ahead and insert a piggyback. So this tubing has to be inserted into the clave. So we open the cap, take alcohol to clean off the top of the clave, and insert the IV tubing. This little clamp needs to come down and screw the tubing into the clave. We're ready to back prime now. We have to open our piggyback because we're going to be forcing air up through the tubing into the secondary bag. So as you can see, the air is being forced up the tubing. This is called back priming. Okay, we let go of the button and then we're ready to go ahead and program the B-line. You can see this piggyback mode. We arrow down to rate. Okay, and our rate is Okay, our rate is going to be 100 milliliters an hour. And our volume to be infused is 500. It tells us that we'll infuse in five hours. After that, we have to tell uh, the machine what drug we're infusing, so we do that by indicating and hitting drug list. And then we have to uh, page down to get our our uh, ampicillin. We can see ampicillin is here. Ampicillin 1 gram and 100 mLs. If that's correct, we press enter. We are using a standard program, so we're going to choose that. And then we're ready to begin. Roller clamp needs to be unclamped, and we press start. And we are um, confirming, this is our confirmation screen showing that one gram of ampicillin at 100 milliliters an hour is infusing. We're going to select yes. And you can see that IV fluid, the primary line is stopped, and that the ampicillin is the infusion that's currently running because the little light is blinking. All right, after our um, piggybacks infusing, we need to put our little tag on indicating when we hung this. Hope this is, was, has been helpful to you. So this is how we hang a primary infusion and a secondary infusion. Good luck.